So, some of you might be wondering what the Black Friday video is. <clears throat> and there's going to be another one a little later, probably on the 10th or the 15th. So, let's start that. Alrighty, so we've got Star Wars, The Clone Wars, The Lost Missions, also known as Star Wars, The Clone Wars Season 6, which was cancelled, then they brought it to Netflix, and they brought it to Blu-ray, DVD, and all that jazz. So, obvious why I got it. I'm in the middle of Star Wars, The Clone Wars. I am loving every second of it. It is fucking awesome. Now, you know what, I'm probably going to down this to, yeah, so sorry about the lighting, you know, you know what's really ironic, this is probably one of the brightest rooms in the whole fucking house, so I guess think it's really ironic, so not complaining, I got this pretty cheap, 30 some dollars. Brand new release, maybe cheaper, I don't really know, so. Yeah, look at this shit. Disney. Were you that fucking lazy? Yeah, we get it, it's a Blu ray. What the fuck? It's like. If you're gonna do that shit, you should have kept the fucking. Should have made it a green case or something. Ugh, too many fucking codes, dude. Fuck Disney. Okay. We got this bullshit, this paper shit, which I might use, I might not use. So, we got Lost Missions discs, which have Obi Wan and Anakin, and which I'm assuming will hopefully lead into the 2003 series, the uh, part of Volume 2. My theory is that um, that's still canon, but you've got to get through this series first, or, like, here's how I do it, okay, so it's like, it's volume one of the old Clone Wars show, actually, I want to change the lightning back, so it flickers, I'm, a, I'm sorry, but, this webcam give me a bitch, but, so, here's how I look at it. And you'll have to excuse me if my wisdom teeth are bothering me like a son of a bitch. I'm getting them removed next week. So, gonna have four holes in my fucking jaw. Which will be kind of funny to fuck with on camera, but whatever. Actually, not fuck with them. Whatever, okay, I'm not making any sense. It's supposed to be a Blu ray update. Not a fucking V log and my fucking wisdom teeth. Which I'll record when I'm fucking on anesthesia. On the wisdom teeth shit, okay. Which will also hurt after I get my damn wisdom teeth removed, which will fucking hurt and my cheeks will pump and fuck. Hopefully that won't happen. Whatever. Oh yeah, if I didn't show it already back relatively the same. Only thing is with this, Disney does this pretty cool, I think. Except I think they were a little lazy with this release, because of whatever. So it's volume one of the old Clone Wars show. Then you start off with a little bit of volume two. Then you stop volume two of the old Clone Wars show. Then you start the Clone Wars movie. And then you go through the entire Clone Wars 2000. The Clone Wars, not Star Wars Clone Wars. The Clone Wars from 08 and 2014. You go from that to the rest of the 03 and 05 volume 2 of Star Wars Clone Wars which leads really nicely into episode 3 so that's not canon I call bullshit it leads so perfectly into episode 3 so just bullshit <clears throat> Tron Legacy I told you this was going to be Completionist Friday or Black Friday was Completionist Friday or whatever fuck it is also following my smart TV it's in the basement Um, I don't use this, but my code and paper shit, not your code and paper shit, so that's the paper shit, mine. 
Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I was really hoping it was going to come with a slipcover. And why did I get Tron Legacy? Well, I enjoyed Tron Legacy when I saw it in the theater. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was fun. I saw it on Netflix. I thought it was fun. So, got both Tron movies. So now I can do a double feature with my new smart TV when... Uh, me, me and my dad moved the old tube, and then I'll fuck with the technology shit, because I'm good with that stuff. So, this is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I jump kind of around, I'll give a shit. Terminator Salvation, again, completest. Oh, look, you know, I don't give a shit. I know what Blu-ray is. So, yeah, I'm probably going to hate this. But I'm a completist. Again, probably going to hate this. But I'm a completist. And I'm looking at something right now I really fucking hate it. And I don't know why I bought Other than I'm a fucking completist. Which also means you're a fucking dumbass. Yeah, at this point you're a completist, you're a dumbass. And you'll see why from my point of view. Because you bought Die Hard. Because I bought Die Hard fucking 5, which is said to be the worst Die Hard movie. So I'm going to go from fucking Die Hard 1, which is fucking awesome, Die Hard 2, which I haven't seen, Die Hard 3, and Die Hard 4 to this piece of shit. Hopefully it'll be okay. I hope it's not god awful. Because if it sucks, I'm going to be pissed. Because I would have wasted 5 bucks on this. 5 bucks on this. I enjoyed this, so I don't care. Hopefully I'll like it again, but taste change. So, in total, like five fucking dollars or some shit. I don't know, I'll look through this shit later. I own Batman and Robin. I own Captain America from the 1970s and the two Captain America movies from the 70s and 80s. I own the Captain America movie from the 90s. I own the Fantastic Four movie from the 90s. I own Elektra. I own fucking Daredevil. I own Ghost Rider 1. The fucking director's cut. And the fucking regular car. I own the remake of Planet of the Apes and the remake of Total Recall. Don't own the remake of Robocop yet. Eventually I'm gonna get that because I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. I'm an idiot. Yeah. I'm Jamie Foxx, we wasted Jamie Foxx. You know what? You're probably gonna say, Dark, you have no fucking integrity. Your opinion is fucking irrelevant now, because you bought this, even though you fucking hate it, and you think it's the worst Spider-Man movie of all time, which it fucking is, by the way. The worst fucking Spider-Man movie of all time. And this one actually comes in slipcover, which, I don't know, I would have liked to have the slipcover to John Lacey, but no, I can slipcover this piece of shit. Same fucking shit. I might return this. I'm considering returning this. Yeah, no bonus D no bonus blurry like the last edition. So that shows you how much faith Sony had in this fucking movie. Because all the other Spider-Man movies were two discs. Even Spider-Man 3 was two discs. No, I'm talking about two disc DVD editions where they had a whole fucking extra disc for bonus features. No, this one, you know, the last movie had a fucking bonus fee, a second Blu-ray for bonus features. Still haven't watched that. Should probably watch that. Despite the fact that I'm probably going to be pissed while watching it and calling bullshit on every fucking thing. Fuck this movie. Don't. Fuck this movie. I bought it because I'm a completed idiot. Because I own all the other Spider-Man movies. So I might as well get this to complete the fucking collection. 
So fuck this movie. I'm a fucking idiot for buying it. Master in 4K. So at least it'll look fucking pretty on my fucking smart TV. But I'm a fucking dumbass because I bought this. Schmuck. And that and a good day to die hard guy. You know what? Okay. Something tells me these two, these three, probably the worst ones I've got. And this is probably the only decent one. Or you might disagree. We agree, disagree. I don't give a shit. Because I'm a dumbass. I compete because I put the new Spider Man 2. When I hate it. I am legend. Saw this in literature film. Loved it. I don't care what people say. I enjoyed the shit out of this movie. I thought Will Smith gave a fantastic performance. Really showing off his drama skills. Showing how great of an actor he is. Love him in this. One of my favorite actors of all time. <clears throat> oh, shit. Yeah, I should check Moon out then. I'm going to try download that again. Okay. Source code. I love this fucking movie. Five dollars on Black Friday. I cannot wait to rewatch this, especially when I get the smart TV installed with the speaker. And, I'll get, and I cannot wait to do a a vlog about the uh, setup. Now this is a movie that I ripped a new asshole. I never did a video on it, but I took a bunch of notes. The notebook is upstairs. It was for my literature film class. I hated it when I watched it because I thought it was so goddamn generic. But I'm going to give it another look because I love Tom Cruise. I've seen more of Tom Cruise's films and I've loved them. So hopefully this will be good and hopefully I'll prove myself wrong. And besides, there are uh, there are a couple of other um, movies that I should rewatch. Go over the pearl earring. I want to give a second look. So yeah, that's the Black Friday vlog. There are two pre-orders coming up: Guardians of the Galaxy and Gremlins. So I can finally watch Gremlins in high def on the best pick quality to be. Fuck this movie. Live long and prosper and have a nice day. If you love it, then get this edition. You won't be disappointed, hopefully. And fuck this movie. I fucking hate it. I wanna punch 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 it. Next time I'm gonna punch it. Live long and prosper and have a great day.